Hi friends, in this video we're going to talk about how to render images in Grafana email alerts. That means you will get alerts in your email something like this and those alerts will have the dashboard panel images in them. This will be super helpful to understand the alerts or to understand the data for the alerts. The whole content of this video is present in this blog post. So please check out this blog post. I will leave the link of this blog post in the description. All right, let's get to see how it's done. Grafana can use a plugin called Grafana Image Renderer and this plugin actually takes the snapshots of the Grafana dashboard panels and embeds them in the Grafana alert emails. So we need to install and configure Grafana Image Renderer to add images to your Grafana email alerts. So how does this Grafana plugin works? It uses a headless browser called Chromium and it renders the Grafana dashboard panels and saves them as PNG files and embeds those PNG files in the Grafana emails. That's how Grafana Image Renderer adds images to Grafana alert emails. All right. Let's see how we can install Grafana Image Renderer in Grafana. By the way, if you don't know what Grafana is, Grafana is an awesome monitoring and alerting platform where you can create dashboards and alerts. I've already made a playlist on how to install Grafana, how to configure Grafana, how to set up data sources in Grafana, how to set up alerts in Grafana. So please be sure to check out the link of this playlist in the description of this video. To understand the contents of this video, you need to understand how to set up alerts in Grafana. I've already made a video on that setting up alerts in Grafana 10. You can refer that video to understand how to set up alerts in Grafana. Now let's try to install Grafana image renderer in Grafana. So I've already installed Grafana in my Windows machine. So Grafana creates a folder called Grafana Labs in C program files folder. All right, let's try to install Grafana image renderer. So in the Grafana Labs folder, go to Grafana, go to bin and here you have Grafana CLI.exe. So I'm going to open a command window here and the command is pretty simple. Just write grafana cli.exe plugins install grafana image renderer. If you run this command, grafana cli will download the grafana image renderer folder from GitHub, unzip it and place it in the plugins folder. So after the command is run successfully, go to grafana and in the data plugins folder, you should see the grafana image renderer folder. All right, that's how easily you can install grafana image renderer plugin in grafana using a single command. But running this command requires internet because this command fetches the plugin data from the internet and places it in the Grafana folder. But if your system is offline system and it doesn't have any internet access, then you can also install this plugin offline. It's pretty simple actually. Just download the zip file from the GitHub release. Go to this URL, GitHub Grafana Grafana Image Renderer releases page. And here you will have all the releases. Search for the required zip file. Since we are in Windows, you have this plugin Win32x64. Just download the zip file. And after you download the zip file, make sure that your plugin is compatible with your Grafana. What did I mean by saying that? Just open this zip file and here you can see something like plugin.json. Just open this. It says Grafana should be at least 8.3.11. If your Grafana is something like 8.2, this plugin will not work. So before using the plugin zip file, just make sure that your Grafana is compatible. So after you download the zip file, open the file, you got these contents. Copy these contents and in the C program files Grafana labs folder, go to Grafana, data, plugins and create a folder called Grafana image renderer and inside the folder, copy the contents of the zip file which you have downloaded. That's it. You have installed Grafana image renderer offline by using the zip file. Now let's see how we have to configure Grafana image renderer. Well, the first thing you need to do after installing the Grafana image renderer is enabling image rendering. So that can be done using Grafana's configuration file and it can be found in C program files, Grafana labs, go to the Grafana folder, conf and defaults.ini. You can open it with notepad, but I will open it with VS code because it gives me syntax highlighting. So I'm going to open it with VS code. Now search for a section called unified alerting dot screenshots. So I got the section unified alerting dot screenshots. And here make sure that you write capture equal to true. By default, it would be nothing here. That means Grafana image rendering is disabled. So you need to write capture equal to true so that the images would be rendered in Grafana alerts. That's it. We have enabled rendering of images in alerts. In the same defaults.ina file, there are also some configuration options for Grafana image renderer. Those can be found in the plugin.grafana image renderer section. You can do some rendering options, but currently we are not doing anything. We are okay with the defaults. All right, we have configured Grafana image renderer. And now let's do the fun part. Let's try to link a dashboard in an alert and let's try to create an alert. So I have installed my Grafana and it's working. We are going to link an alert to a dashboard. 
So I'm going to my dashboards and I already created a dashboard where I fetch data from Postgres SQL. So this is my dashboard panel. I've already linked an alert to it. That's why it's showing the alert status here, which is okay. So let's try to see how I've linked an alert to this dashboard. So first in my alerting section, going to alert rules, I've already created an alert rule, which is a sensor one temperature alert. Let's try to edit this alert rule. And in this alert rule, you have a fourth section which is add annotations and here you can actually link a dashboard panel let's try to delink a dashboard panel and in the fourth section you can link it again link dashboard and panel click on this click on the dashboard this is the dashboard and this is the panel which i want to link so click on this panel and click confirm now the panel is linked to this alert and you can now save the rule and exit so this way i have linked this alert with my dashboards panel and now when the alert is fired the dashboard panel will be rendered in the alert email already in the contact points i have already created an alert email infra team email and if i edit this i am sending email to this email address and even i can test the email you can just test the contact point and you can send some test notification to see whether the contact point is working the test alert is sent and here in my inbox i got the test alert so my test alert is working so since my test alert is working, let's try to create an alert and trigger it. So in my alert rule, let's go to the alert rule. Let's try to preview the alert condition. It's in the firing condition currently and my alert evaluation is passed for now. Let's try to unpause the alert evaluation, save the rule and exit. And within 10 minutes, my alert would be triggered. But for this video, let's make it 10 seconds and make the alert get triggered. So let's try to end this and let's try to go to the evaluation behavior and change the evaluation time from 10 minutes to 10 seconds and save so within 10 seconds i should get an alert email so let's wait for 10 seconds so just now i got an alert because i've triggered the alert and here i got the image of my dashboard panel which is linked to the alert so it's that simple to link an alert with the dashboard panel and display the dashboard panel in the alert email all right i'm going to show you how this alert image rendering worked actually so in our program files grafana labs folder Go to Grafana and here in the data folder, you got a new folder called PNG and in this PNG folder, you got all the images which are being rendered. Recently, this image was rendered and you can see that this image was present in the email. So Grafana image renderer plugin actually launched a headless Chrome browser and it captured the Grafana dashboard panel, saved the PNG here and attached this PNG in our alert email. This is how the Grafana image renderer plugin has worked. So that's it. We have successfully rendered images in our Grafana alerts. Now let's try to see how can you debug the issues when you're not able to render images in your Grafana alerts. The best way to diagnose the issue is to see the logs. So where can I find the Grafana logs? In the program files Grafana labs folder, you can go to Grafana data and there's a folder called log and all the Grafana logs would be present in this Grafana.log file. You can see the logs are being rotated when the date is being changed. So the latest log is present in the Grafana.log and if I just open this with notepad or you can even open it with VS Code, I am opening Grafana.log with VS Code. Here you can see Grafana logs and the latest log would be present at the bottom. If you want to see the logs related to Grafana image renderer, just try to do Ctrl F and write Grafana image renderer. And you can see all the logs corresponding to Grafana image renderer. If everything goes well, if your plugin is correctly registered, you will see a log something like plugin registered, plugin ID equal to Grafana image renderer. For example, when I did not use Grafana image renderer plugin, I got something like could not render image, no image renderer found or installed. For image rendering support, please install Grafana image renderer plugin. So if you don't have Grafana image renderer installed, you will get logs something like this. But if Grafana image renderer is installed correctly, you will get logs something like plugin registered Grafana image renderer. Even after installation of Grafana image renderer, if there are some problems that will be present in these logs. So Grafana logs can help you a lot in debugging the image rendering problems. Now let's see the next topic, which is setting up a remote rendering service. In Grafana, you can even have an option to use a remote rendering service. In that case, the Grafana image renderer plugin will ask a remote service to render the Grafana panel images. I mean, why would you require that? If your server has some compatibility issues or if you want to offload the rendering job to some other server, you can use this remote rendering service feature. So how can you set up a remote rendering service? It's pretty simple actually. You can create a remote rendering server by following these steps. 
go to github grafana image renderer repository you can download the zip file and unzip this whole source code and once the source code is downloaded in the folder run the command yarn install pure lock file and run yarn run build this way you are building the plugin and then run the plugin as a server you can run the server on a desired port using this command in this example the server is running on port 8081 once this remote rendering server is up you can reference this service in your grafana configuration file in the program files grafana labs folder go to grafana conf and here in the defaults.ina file search for a section called rendering and here you can give the remote server url so suppose your remote rendering service is running on this server at port 8081 you can give a server url something like this and the callback url something like this the callback url would be the grafana server so we have written localhost so now with these two settings you have set up a remote rendering service by default you will have nothing here that means the grafana image renderer plugin will render the images on its own and after you do the settings just restart grafana so that's how you can set up a remote rendering service to offload the rendering to other servers so that's it guys this is how easily you can set up images in your grafana alerts you can see i have created a blog post on adding images to your grafana alert emails i've given you the screenshots instructions commands so that you can set up images in your grafana alerts in your own grafana systems so please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video i've also given you the references to the official documentation so that you can do further reading please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace